okay uh, hello everyone uh, welcome back to our channel in today's video we will be discussing the top 10 python programs every sr should know about it python is a, a versatile programming language that has becoming a staple in tech industry especially in the field of cyber liability engineering so without wasting any time so let's get started Okay, so the number one is all about to check if a website is up or down. So, so as I said, it's essential to be able to monitor an availability of your website. So this particular script will allow you to check if your website is up or down and notify you if there is an issue. So you can go through the script as you wish. Okay, number two is all about to monitor your system resources, basically like CPU, memory, and disk. So basically like if your CPU or memory or disk is suppose it's very high, if it is crossing the threshold and it may impact your application. So you may need to monitor it. So you can write the script and you can run it on your local and it will pull out your uh, the, the system resources metrics and you can take out the action what you want okay we can move to on number three so the number three is to check the status of the database so being as an SRD, so database you know it's so core and critical so if data is not there your application functionality will definitely will fail so database availability is utmost important so this is the Python script. It will check your database's connection is successful or not. Okay. Moving on to the fourth one. So this script, it will monitor the log files. Basically, like it will uh, check the any errors or exceptions which has been written in application is writing on your log file and it will monitor the log files. If it has any error or exceptions, it will send an email to a email id so this is the basic skeleton of the script you can take it however you want to make a change and you can tune it and you can run it on your local let's move on to the five five is all about the ssl certificate of expiration ssl certificate is very very important so on your website is running on a secure layer if the certificate has certain validity if that particular validity is about to expire or expired your application it won't even function it won't even show up it will just show an error message like this particular website is not secure so the people that will lose the the people will lose the trust on your website so basically what you have to do you have to renew your certificate so there should be a proper alarm has to be in place so if there is no alarm you can write the script and you can run it on your local or any other host and it will check whether the certificate is expired or not expired how many days is about to expire okay number six is all about to monitor the http request so all your http requests it has to come with a successful response basically the successful response is 200 if you are getting something like 500 which is so core critical your service is completely down it means you should not get any 5ox 4ox 3OX is somewhat okay, 4OS is also not okay, but 5OX you should not get. So you have to monitor the application. 200 is something called if your success, your request is completely successful and it has been okay. So you mean to say it's very healthy. So this is the script which has been written. So it will take the URL and it will it will compile and it will run it and it will get an output of the status code. It should be 200 or it should be 30 or it should be 4X. It should not be 5x. Okay, number seven. So this is all about to automate the deployment process. I know the most of the, uh, the companies, they have already adapted with the DevOps culture. So they keep all their code on the SVN and they will pull it by using uh, the Jenkins, the CICD tools, and if they will download the code from my repo and then they will add it there and then they will compile it and they will push it. And all it will happen through the the continuous integration and continuous deployment uh, backbone feature uh, so so this is a basic script 
and uh, it will give you an idea how to deploy, how to pull it from the repo, and how to restart it. That's it. So I think a lot of options are there beyond this. Number eight, it's all about to monitor the network connectivity. This is also a very basic uh, script. It will just check the network connectivity is okay, whether your system is able to connect to the internet, whether your outbound connection is okay. You can tune it whatever you want. You can put it your uh, destination IP or destination website. Basically, in a microservice environment, one app connects to another app. So at the point of time, so the connectivity between the application A and application B. So if there is no proper the monitoring solution, so you can run this particular script and you can see whether the connectivity is successful or not. Okay, uh, moving on to the, the ninth one. It's all about the security vulnerability. So sometimes the code do have certain vulnerabilities and it is so what you can say it's so risk to run on the productions each time the upgrades it has to happen so we should not leave it so if any vulnerabilities which is that in the core which is that in the core which has something issue with the code so this particular script it will check the path of the code and it will say if it is if there is an invulnerable it will show vulnerable if it is not it will show no vulnerability uh moving back to the ninth one uh, i forgot to add one more point which is all about most so there are a lot of cyber security teams are there dedicatedly to work on this particular concept uh, they do have a very well good uh, the tools in, which is available in the market they adapt it and they will use it so that particular tool will identify the vulnerabilities whether it's a pass layer or which is on the sas layer i mean to say it's on the host layer or it can be on the, the code layer okay uh, moving on to the tenth one which is all about the automate the backup so it's all about uh, just give an example you have some log files uh, last 30 days of log files you want to take a backup you can put it into some other file and some other folder and you can take a backup say for example your code is there and someone has accidentally deleted that particular code in a production system so that you can run this script as a cron so every 10 to 15 minutes this code will take up and it will put it into some other folder so during the disaster recovery space you can roll back it so this is all about the 10 uh, the python script which is just needed SRA should be capable of writing the code and they should be automating it and i have uh, written on my knowledge uh, i feel uh, this particular video is worth uh, to understand. Thank you so much. I will meet you on another video.